Hello guys, welcome to my channel KZTV. A beginner's guide to making homemade baby food. Making homemade baby food. Making homemade baby food is not difficult. It is economically friendly and healthier than purchasing commercially prepared food for your baby. Baby food recipes range from puree to recipes incorporating table food into recipes for baby. It takes less time than you think to create fresh, healthy baby food. Making homemade food assures you and your baby no preservatives are used and baby is only getting nutritious and tasty food. Things to consider when making homemade baby food. Before making food for your baby, consult with your pediatrician, especially if this is the first somewhat solid food the baby will be eating. Your pediatrician will suggest foods to introduce to the baby and what foods should be eaten at specific ages or signs of maturing. If you choose fruits, vegetables and meat you like, your pediatrician may suggest better alternatives for different age groups. Unless your baby displays a serious reaction to a certain food the first time they experience it, offer the baby the same food four days in a row. This method will allow time for a food allergy to manifest and will help determine the food the baby likes and dislikes. There will be some foods the baby will refuse to eat because of its taste, texture or smell, or even a combination of the three. It is not important for a baby to like everything offered. It is important the baby gets the right food with the proper nutrients. It is never a good idea to introduce a baby to more than one new food at a time for allergy discovering purposes. Preparing the food ahead of time will be a tremendous time saver. A large quantity of food can be frozen in individual containers for future use. For example, the food can be frozen in ice cube trays and then transferred to another container for continued freezing. That method gives you baby food in easy-to-serve portions. The frozen portions will thaw quickly when set out on the counter or thawed in a microwave or submerging the container of hot water. Precautions to take when making homemade baby food. When preparing homemade baby food, always make sure your hands are clean, as well as the food preparation surface, pots or pans and cooking utensils. Wash fruits and vegetables thoroughly before preparing the baby food, and if meat is being prepared, rinse the meat with room temperature water. Always be sure the baby food containers are clean and sterilized for baby's protection. Always put a date on the homemade baby food container and store it properly. Refrigerate or freeze the baby food for future use, after preparation. Freeze the baby food in small quantities and only thaw one portion at a time. Do not refreeze any leftover baby food. After a feeding session, any food left in the dish should be discarded. When serving baby food, make sure the food is room temperature to slightly warm. If the food is heated in a microwave, stir the food thoroughly to make sure there are not hot spots that could potentially burn your baby's mouth. The baby food process. After rice-based cereal, your baby will most likely move on to pureed fruits, vegetables and meat. Until you know what your baby will like, buy small quantities of fruits, vegetables and meat, unless other family members consume lots of fruits, vegetables and meat. After proper washing cut the fruit and vegetables in half and either boil, steam or bake them. If they are baked, place those in a baking dish with enough water to almost cover the dish contents. Vegetables and fruit can be peeled before or after cooking. Small vegetables such as corn, peas and lima beans do not need to be halved. Bananas can just be mashed and not cooked at all unless that is your preference. Frozen peas are much easier to prepare than fresh peas. If preparing meat, make sure all traces of fat are removed and when cooked, make sure the meat is well done with no trace of pink. Bake the fruits and vegetables for about an hour at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or until they are soft. During the cooking process make sure there is sufficient water in the dish to avoid burning the fruits and vegetables and add water if necessary. When the fruits and vegetables are baked, take the dish out of the oven and let cool. Peel the fruits and vegetables, if not already peeled, after they have cooled. Cook the meat until there is no pink showing. Place the cooled fruit or vegetable in a food processor for pureeing. Add water to the mixture until the appropriate consistency is reached. If you add too much water, dry baby cereal can be added to thicken it up. If a food processor is not available, a hand mixer or a meat grinder will suffice or in the event a mechanical means is not available, mash the fruits and vegetables with a fork until there are no lumps present. 
That method will be very time consuming. The food should be very thin for babies beginning to eat solid food, and as they grow older and have some solid food eating under their belt, the food can be made a little thicker. As the baby ages, the fruits and vegetables will just have to be chopped into small pieces rather than mashed or pureed. Once you know what kind of fruits and vegetables your baby likes, you can mix different flavors together such as bananas and peaches or peas and squash. Using organic fruits and vegetables. Organic fruits and vegetables are grown without the benefit of, or with a limited amount of, synthetic material, such as pesticides or other chemicals. Organic food is grown according to regulations and certified and labeled as organically grown. Food organically grown develops antioxidants to protect themselves against garden pest and, as a result, develop into a vegetable or fruit with higher levels of antioxidants. That means the fruits and vegetables are richer in minerals, vitamins and other pro-health nutrients. Eating organically is not just for mom and dad, but baby too. Making organic baby food will assure you your baby is getting the real deal. Who is to say a jar of baby food marked as organic is really organic? Organic fruits and vegetables were once only available in health food stores, or they were home-grown. Today, organic food of every kind is available not only in specialty stores, but the average, everyday grocery store. Organic food is prepared the same way as any other food. They can be steamed, boiled or baked and then mashed or pureed. As the baby gets older, food can be cut into small, bit-sized pieces, making it finger food babies can eat on their own. The Benefits of Making Homemade Baby Food If you have ever read the label of baby food bought at the grocery store, you will find some ingredients you have never heard of before, and some you will not be able to pronounce. I like to make my own food. It gives me the ability to control the ingredients and the quality of the food. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.